an entire box of empties. I am pretty excited. I have managed to collect quite a few empties over the past couple of months. So these are the empties from March and April. It's always good to see that while I do have a large collection of makeup and beauty products, I do keep using them up so they never really go to waste. This is literally a product that I got this year. It didn't last very long. I use it morning and night. It's the Bio Effect EGF Serum and this is the full size, which is 15 mils. I've been using this serum now for a little while. I would say about a year, but I normally have like sample sizes or minis. This is the first time I've I've actually managed to get hold of the full size because it is really really expensive. This is pretty much the most expensive product that I have in my beauty routine. It's a really nice product and I hesitate to say whether it does anything to my skin or not because I have a pretty elaborate skincare routine anyway, but I can definitely see some improvements over the past six months or so. I am now looking into other growth factors slash stem cells serums to see if there's something better because this is actually plant-derived and I've heard some that plant-derived products, they don't actually function the same way as, let's say, animal-derived products. So I don't actually know whether it does anything, but I can see that my skin has become a little bit better, actually, this past year or six months at least. The next product was something that I've been meaning to try out in terms of the brand. This is by Lixir Skin, and this brand is not really as popular uh, today as it was a couple of years ago or so. At least I hardly ever see anyone mention it and I don't even see it sold in a lot of the shops that used to sell it. This is, I believe, travel size. It's 30 mils and this is the Universal Emotion. I did like it. I used it in the morning as my morning moisturizer. What I did not like, and I think this was the culprit, was that I did notice some peeling on my face. So as I said previously, I have a pretty elaborate skincare routine. So I do apply quite a few products morning and night. And so I need them to work together because then I also apply makeup. And with this, I think this was the culprit because it is quite silicone-y in its texture, which is nice when you apply it to the skin, but then occasionally those products do peel. And I've, I did notice some peeling while I was using this. I would not be buying it because I really wanted to just try it out and I did like it. It has a pretty interesting smell, kind of plasticky smell. And normally I do include moisturizers with vitamin C in the morning. So this is not something I will repurchase. I literally just wanted to try it out because it used to be included in so many gifts with purchase and advent calendars. It was something that you would come across time and time again and I've never tried this brand. Those two products that I just showed you I literally finished in the last week and so did I this product which is a face oil. It's by a brand called Codex Beauty. I sort of came across it accidentally. I didn't buy it. It is called the facial oil. I think it's with retinol. Now the product itself was fine. I got used to using face oils. I tend to have a pretty dry skin especially in winter and I do use Tretinon as well, which is not helpful in that regard either. I did like the oil itself, but I really did not like the dropper. It would literally leak as I was trying to apply it, which meant that I would have it like on my clothes or on my pajamas, which I definitely didn't appreciate. It was 30 ml, so it was full size, but this product is actually really expensive. I am completely not familiar with the brand. As I said, I did come across it by accident, by chance really. So I did get it and then I was like, okay, I might as well use it. It lasted a really long time. I think it lasted over a year to be fair, but you need literally a few drops. In terms of the impact on my skin, I don't know whether it did anything. I didn't mind it. It was an oil, so I do nowadays use oil, so this was neither worse nor better than any other oil I've used. One of my staples these days is this Dermalogica Prisma Protect. This is, what is this? Light Activated Skin Defense SPF 30. I did basically use it as an SPF, so I would apply my moisturizer and then I would apply this on top. I did like it. I would normally buy something with an SPF 30. I always go for SPF 50 these days, but I did have it somehow <laughs> in my beauty collection. So of course I did want to use it. It goes really well under makeup. I would say that it is a really good product 
for an everyday use. The only objection I have is to the fact that it is SPF 30, not SPF 50. It is a mini and I think I have at least one more. So this was 12 mils. The next product is a hand cream and this is by a brand I am not familiar with. It's Odelique. It's lemon butter hand smoothie. I am a hand cream gal. I use hand cream all the time every day. I don't really bother much about a hand cream in terms of its quality. Most hand creams are just fine with me. What I did not like about this hand cream was the smell. It was lemony. I don't necessarily like the scent of a lemon on my hands. Other than that, it was okay. I don't know this brand and I'm not gonna be repurchasing it. I don't think I even bought it in the first place. I can't always remember where my product come from. It was fine, it's just a normal hand cream. I wouldn't buy it again because of the smell. Other than that, it was fine. Now this might be my very favorite hyaluronic acid serum that I've ever used. And this is primarily, I believe, because it comes with a glycerin and it is just, perfection when it comes to spreading on my face. It's just pleasure really to do it. It's just so soft and silky. This is by a brand Evolve Organic Beauty Hyaluronic Serum 200. I've heard of the brand. I'm not too, too familiar with it. And this was 30 ml, so I think that's full, full size. I really liked it. It took me a really long time as well to use it up, which is not normally the case with hyaluronic acid products for some strange reason. A lot of the time I do feel like I have to apply a lot to my face. With this one, not at all, so it lasted me, I can't remember how long, but quite some time, probably around six months, and I did like it. And I would actually consider repurchasing this serum in the future. I still have quite a few other hyaluronic acid serums. It literally might be my very favorite hyaluronic acid serum ever. I have this little Korean beauty face mask. This was a sheet mask. This is by Creme Shop. I still have two more of this particular mask. I did like it. It's fun to apply on your face because you look like a panda when it's on your face. And then what I often do, because with sheet masks, there's only this much product that your skin can absorb at a given time. And there's often a lot of products still left in this um, sachet or whatever you want to call it. I actually use it as a serum. So I literally keep it together with my other beauty products and just apply a few drops in the evening in my skincare routine. And this way nothing goes to waste. It's a really old mask. I should probably concentrate on the other ones that I have and just use those up because I've had them for quite some time. I actually have a review of these from at least five years ago, so yeah. And here's another Prisma Protect by Dermalogica. It's exactly the same one that I showed you just now, 12 mils as well. I have two tretinoin serums, both from Dermatica because it's a subscription service. Both of them are with 0.1% tretinoin, niacinamide and azelaic acid. I use those all the time. I use them morning and night on most days. So I tend to go through, I'd say one each month. It just so happened that I managed to finish two in the last, well, actually that does make sense. I did manage to finish two in the last couple of months. A vitamin C serum. I use vitamin C nowadays twice a day morning and evening. I have different serums for different times of day. This is by SkinCeuticals. This is CE Ferulic. So that's the one with the ferulic acid. It's four mils. It was a sample, but I honestly can't believe how long these little, little vials actually last. I definitely like the serum. I would like to buy it in full size. I still have, I think, one or two vials like this to go through, and that is probably gonna be another couple of months, but I think I am ready to buy it. It is very expensive, so this is what's stopping me, and I actually have a few other vitamin C serums already in my beauty collection, but I really want something that I know works, and apparently there's been some studies on this serum, and this probably is the best vitamin C serum on the market at present. Another vitamin C product, this is Kiehl's Powerful Strength Line Reducing and Dark Circle Diminishing Vitamin C Eye Serum, full size 15 mils. I've been using this product now for maybe a couple of years because there really aren't very many under eye serums with vitamin C and this contains L-ascorbic acid. So this is why I buy it because this is the one ingredient that has been studied and it does apparently work in terms of collagen production. I wouldn't say that I like it very much. It's very thick for a serum 
And I am currently actually trying something different, something maybe less potent to be fair, but just something a little lighter as well. So I'll see how I get on with that serum. I might be returning to this one at some point, as I said, I'm struggling to find a replacement for this product, so I might just not have a choice. Clinique Moisture Surge. This is a travel size, I believe. It's 15 mils. It was an okay product. I used to really like Clinique when I was in my 20s in particular. Back then, I didn't really have to find very many wrinkles. Nowadays, I wouldn't necessarily buy a product such as this that is literally just a regular moisturizer. I do need a moisturizer with some other ingredients that will hopefully help help me preserve my skin for the future. It was okay. If all you need is moisture, then this is a good enough face cream, but I wouldn't be repurchasing it. Now, this is something that I got from my sister for Christmas last year. So, wow, I've managed to use it up pretty quickly. I got it in December, so it's been only four months. And I don't think I've been using it the whole four months. Anyways, this is like a, a micellar water by this brand called Vianic. <laughs> it was good enough. I don't really use these kind of products anymore because I use cleansing balms all the time. This is my favorite, uh, but this worked just fine. It, it did the job and it wasn't even particularly troublesome. This is what I don't necessarily like about my cellar watches because sometimes it's just kind of difficult to actually remove. It basically just takes a long time to do it. Uh, but this one was fine. I would not be buying it because I just don't use my cellar watches. Youth to the People Super Clay Purify Plus Clear Power Mask. This is a clay mask and clay masks are probably my favorite masks, but this was so small. This is a sample size and it was only five mils. I don't think that it even lasted two applications. I managed to do it the first time and then the second time I still had some left, so I did it, but uh, it wasn't enough product. Would I be repurchasing it? Not really. It's a very thick mask, but again, two applications just wasn't really enough for me to try it out properly. I do have other clay masks that I'm using and I'm happy with, so it's highly unlikely I would be repurchasing this one. My very favorite cleansing balm is from Pharmacy, Green Clean. This is a mini, this is only 12 mils. I love this cleansing balm, this is my very favorite cleansing balm, so I already have more than one <laughs> waiting in my bathroom, and I will continue most likely using it in the foreseeable future. So far, this is my very favorite cleansing balm, so it just makes my life easier. Youth to the people again, and this is KO Plus Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanse. 59 mils, not sure if that's full size or if that's travel size. I did like this cleanser and I have another one of these already in my bathroom. I did like it because it's a foaming cleanser. I double cleanse in the evening, I wear makeup and I then use a balm to remove the makeup and then to remove the leftovers of the balm and whatever the makeup is left. I also use a foaming cleanser. I know people have an issue with foaming cleansers and it is stripping. I admit my face does feel quite tight afterwards, but it does the job, it works for me and I don't mind the tightness because I straight away apply something different to my face, be it a mask or be it my skincare routine. And I did like it. It does work really well. I don't quite like the container. I like that it's glass, but the issue is that there's no pump. So a lot of the time you would dispense just too much product because you have little control over how much actually comes out. But I do like it. And as I said, I already have another one in my bathroom. I have finally managed to use up some body moisturizers. This is from Ameliorate. So this is a staple in my body skincare routine. This is the Transforming Body Lotion. It's full size, 200 mils. I do like it. Now I have another one as a replacement because I've run out and I really like it. I will probably continue repurchasing it for a while until I've found something different to try. It does help. It definitely makes my skin smoother. You don't need all that much. I've not noticed much of an improvement in terms of my keratosis pilaris, but I guess it might just not be enough to help me eat with this issue. There are some people who have had some success using this product to cure KP. I'm unfortunately not in that group. And it's actually just one of a number of moisturizers that I actually use, to be fair, because uh, I use different moisturizers on different body parts. But this is like a staple in my beauty routine. I'm really excited because I've managed to use up two body oils that I've had for a really long time. They're both minis. They're both minis, but still I'm really glad because 
I've been feeling guilty for not using them for a really long time. One of them is from Nuke's. This is the multi-purpose dry oil and that's 30 mils. I'm not the biggest fan of oils for my body to be honest. I don't know why, there's just something about them. I don't find them the easiest to use. I much prefer just regular moisturizers so I'm not gonna be repurchasing it. I probably just got it for free anyway but I wouldn't be buying it. Again just for that reason it's a matter of preference. There's nothing wrong with this oil. And the second body oil, I mean it's not really a body oil. I think it's, well it's called All Over Miracle Oil. This is by Elizabeth Arden. This is from the 8 hour cream range and this is again a mini. It's only 30 mils. Again, same as with the Nukes one. I would not be buying it again just because I don't really like oils for my body and when it comes to my face I kind of feel like I need an oil with some active ingredients if that's what you call them so it's not just about having oil on my skin it's about what that oil might do to my skin aside from moisturizing it I don't know what's in this oil I don't know the ingredients I mean there are ingredients here but I don't you know I'm not a dermatologist I don't always understand what stuff means on the bottles but I won't be buying it I'm probably not going to be buying body oils overall because it's just not something that I currently like. Susan Kaufman Mallow Blossom Bubble Bath. This is a mini and this is 30 mils. It's really small. I think it probably lasted like two baths and I stretched it. It was okay. It didn't produce very many bubbles. Most likely to have a proper bubble bath I would need to use up the whole bottle and it's an expensive product so I didn't want to. It was okay but I you know, I don't see anything particularly special about this particular product. I would rather just buy something from a drugstore for a fraction of the cost. Briogeo. Now, I had very little luck with the shampoos in the past. I did not like the shampoo that I got and that was, I think, from this Don't Despair Repair range. I didn't like the shampoo, but I really like the masks. Now, this one, this is Superfoods Avocado Plus Kiwi Mega Moisture Hair Mask. This is a dangerous mask if you're on a diet or hungry because it smells absolutely delicious. It's so fruity. It actually made me hungry. I was looking forward to using up this. It's a, it's a travel size, both of them are. I was looking forward to using this app because it was just ruining my diet. <laughs> it would always make me want to have something sweet after uh, washing my hair and using this mask. This one, I don't really remember the scent. It wasn't, uh, it didn't stand out. Uh, but it was a good mask. I, I did like both of them. I'm not probably going to be repurchasing them because they didn't wow me or amaze me, but they were they were good enough. Inner Sense Hydrating Hair Mask, and this is 118 mils. I'm not entirely sure if that's a travel size or a full size. I did like this mask. Strangely enough, in the past, uh, recently actually, I had a conditioner from this brand, which I loved. This mask I liked, but did I love it? I don't think so. Would I be repurchasing it? Most likely not. It was good. It was good, just again, didn't amaze me, didn't do anything extraordinary that would make it worth for me to repurchase this product. Nature Lab Tokyo Perfect Repair Treatment Mask. This is a travel size. Now this is 30 ml, so it is a travel size. It lasted only one use. So I literally used up the entire container, 30 ml in one wash, which is not great. I did like this mask, I really did, but I would much rather have used it for a little while to actually see how I feel about it more long term. I don't think I'll be repurchasing it because again, it was a really good mask, it wasn't amazing. I'm looking for amazing at this stage. And this was good, good enough, good for my difficult hair, just not something worth repurchasing in my view. Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Shampoo. This was 60 ml travel size. The shampoo was okay. I'm not gonna be buying it again. Living Proof is just not my brand, so it seems I did use a few of the products. I do like the dry shampoo. I've used a few other products from this brand and they were okay-ish at best, so I'm not gonna be buying it again. Oh, I've just realized that I actually had another of the BioEffect EGF serum. This one was 2.5 mils, which basically means that the full size 15 mils that lasted me only less than two months because this is an empty from the last two months as well and I was using it first and then I used it up and I switched to the full size so oh my gosh like that EGF serum is over 100 pounds and it lasted me it lasted me two months oh my god this is insane it actually lasted me only two months that's a lot of money for one product for two months oh hmm. now I'm just wondering if I'll be repurchasing it in the future at such a high cost 
Anyway, so this is a, a mini, but it's just something that I'm using morning and evening. I have one makeup product in this um, empties, and this is an eyeshadow. This is by Inglo. It's at the shade 313. So this is like an um, eyeshadow without packaging, whatever it's called, I can't remember now. It's um, something that I used to use kind of as a base for all of my other eyeshadows because it was like a powder, powder color. I did use it for quite some time, I think maybe like two years even. So I finally used it up in the last couple of months. It's something that I would not be replacing because I have other eyeshadows such as this in this color that would serve the same purpose, but it was good, it was fine. Isana Shaving Foam in Raspberry and Jasmine. I really love the smell of it. This wasn't mine, this was something that my niece left behind when she was visiting quite a while back actually. I really love the scent. It was really raspberry-like. It was very strong, but I, very pleasant. Um, it was fine. It's a shaving foam. What, what else is there to say about the shaving foam? And again, something that my niece left. This is the Rexona Motion Sense Cotton Dry. It's basically just an antiperspirant. I don't use those very often, so this kind of a product would last me probably like a couple of years because I sporadically use this. I don't use deodorants almost at all. I would not be repurchasing this in particular just because there's nothing special about it, but it was fine. Sally Hansen Advanced Hard as Nails Strengthener. And this was full size this was 13 mils. I used to use it as a base under like nail polish such as this that would stain my nails. It was okay. It didn't prevent my nails being stained to be quite honest. It might have helped with that a little bit. It was fine. Would I repurchase it? No. It was a real old nail polish so I'm quite glad that I managed to use it up now. And this is by a brand called Pretty. I don't even know. I got it on Amazon. This is nail varnish thinner. This was 15 mils. I've literally had like two drops of this left that I used for this nail polish because it was dry and stuck to the walls. It's from OPI and I don't like wasting stuff so I'm gonna use it out to the last drop. I use it with this thinner. That wasn't enough. I still had to pour some nail polish remover just to thin out the formula. I don't even remember much about it because I bought it so long ago. I forgot I had it. I came across it by accident and then just literally used up the last few drops this past few weeks and that's about it. I'm not going to be buying it again because honestly the nail polish remover works just fine in terms of filling products out and yeah this this didn't do anything special and you actually need quite a bit of product to revive your old nail polish so this little bottle would not be enough. And this is it for the last couple of months. That's by my standard quite a lot of empties. I do hope that you enjoyed the video. There will be more coming most likely in the next couple of months. So please stay tuned for that. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the video and give it a like. And I hope to see you very soon. Bye guys.